All right, hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Uh, I had a little mess up with how I recorded this video, so um, without further ado, here's the video. Ooh, uh, Honeycomb V10, uh, which is at uh, Dayton Pocket, or AKA Laurel Snow, a uh, bouldering area. Uh, I'll be going in over my video of my send, which uh, I have the unedited um, send footage on my YouTube channel. You can watch that by itself. Uh, but the goal of this video is to look at some other betas, really dive into what I was thinking about as I'm climbing it, and uh, give you guys as much information as possible about the boulder, um, any beta surrounding the approach or, or any of that stuff. Uh, so. Hopefully you can find it helpful and it helps you uh, send the climb if you're interested. Uh, I did have a request to go over this video, so hope you enjoy and hope you find it helpful. First off, Honeycomb is at the, uh, this is the Vapor Lock uh, Cave at Dayton Pocket, which is near Dayton, Tennessee. Uh, so here's map of the US, here's Tennessee. There's Chattanooga right here. Dayton is right here. And then uh, the parking lot is at this Laurel Snow State Natural Area. You'll take this road. And uh, this is a gravel road, uh, so it helps if you... And it's, like, not the best well kept. Uh, they'll, like, regravel it um, maybe, like, once a year or something. I'm, I'm not sure. But um, I've seen that gravel road in pretty rough shape. I've also seen it in kind of okay shape. So parking lots down here can fit maybe 25 cars. And uh, this is the trailhead here. Uh, it follow the main trail kind of follows this creek for a little bit. And uh, you're going to go down the creek. And then there's a turnoff uh, to the right eventually. And you want to go up the hill. And uh, there's a cliff line. And uh, you can find the cave along that cliff line. Uh, let's look at some pictures. So you will be crossing this bridge, or if the water is low, um, you can cross this river over here. So you do go past this, but if you see this thing, you've gone too far. So you got to turn back and then uh, go back up the hill this way. Uh, okay, yeah, once you find it, cave looks like this. There's tons of climbs on this cave. Um, if you have the chat block guidebook, it goes over. Um, sort of all the different climbs uh, that you can do. But uh, this one, specifically Honeycomb, it's a V10. It starts over here on some underclings. So these underclings right here. And it climbs this direction. And it meets up with uh, a V5 called Reconciliation. So the V5 starts on this jug rail right here. And uh, goes this way over here. And uh, I'll be going over beta for the V5 specifically um, towards the end. Because uh, if you do end up like sort of projecting this, uh, you want to have the V5 like locked down, uh, down pat. And you can use the V5 to like warm up. Uh, it's, a, it's a great, nice little like warm up if you're doing multiple sessions on this thing. Because the, the crux for the 10 is definitely down here, which we'll get into. So without further ado, let's go over my climb. I just have a stationary camera. Um, so the holds are going to be kind of like small, but, uh, I do have some other uh, videos pulled up of some other people climbing that, uh, we can look at a little bit later. So you start matched on this undercling right here. This toe right here is very good. It's like, uh, it's a jug in its own right. Uh, so that toe is excellent. All right. So I do a little bump to this intermediate. And then I hit this hold. This hold's fairly good. Um, it's a little pockety, and you can pinch it. Uh, I actually have another video that, uh, yes, this one. Uh, so this is the hold that I bumped to. And uh, let's, this guy, there's kind of two good parts. So this, this little pockety part right here is the best part of the whole thing. And then there's like a little bump right here, which he hit with his fourth finger. You'll see he's going to adjust here. And then it's kind of okay over here. 
and then there's a really good thumb catch so you can you can really pinch it so he's going to grab it and then adjust so his fingers are kind of split here on his fingers are split on either side of this bump right here two fingers in this really good part his thumb is on the catch and then his uh, back two are over here uh, i believe when i did this i i put three fingers in here thumb on the catch and uh just my left pinky was over there not doing too much um so i, I managed to fit um three fingers in here i'm pretty sure so that holds very good all right so now it's time to bring the right hand in i toe hook beneath the starting hold there's sort of a bump it's not very positive but uh I'm just like pressing up and squeezing. I'm doing a little bike action down there. And uh, to bring my right hand in. So this hold right here, uh, it's fairly good uh, and it's fairly big. And I'm on the right side of it because um, this is the hold where your right hand is um, before you do the crux move. So I'm more on the right side of this good hold and it's, a, it's an undercling. And my left toe was still uh, on the start hold for that, uh, for that bring in move. And my left toe is still here and I find a, a right toe somewhere over here and I move my left hand now to uh, this hold, okay? This hold, it's much crimpier and um, it's pretty polished. This. This hold, um, a lot of people use as the uh, starting foot to the V5 reconciliation. So there gets a lot of like toe rubber on here. So a uh, little pro tip, uh, make sure you brush that hold a lot um, so it feels nice and good. Oh, I have another little um, clip here from another video where we can look at, at this hold and how much more of like a more of like a crimp it is than, uh, than that other hold where you like pinched. So much crimpier. And you can fit, you can fit all four fingers on. You can see he's kind of in a half crimp. That's pretty much how I hold it too. Okay, now it's time to gear up for the crux move. This next move, um, you're gonna be bringing your right hand in with this beta. This is a nice little time to pause and reflect on climbing in general. And this is just how I do it. This is the beta that I found to be uh, most useful for me. Um, this roof has a ton of holds. It has like a bajillion holds. So I would highly recommend um, taking some time to sort of inspect the different holds, where you can put your feet. Um, there's a lot of options, tons of options with this roof. And uh, you might find a way that works for you. This is the way that worked for me. All right, so I step on a kind of like a little intermediate foot here with my left foot because I want to get my right foot situated. This is where my right foot's going to be. Uh, there's a nice little like sort of uh, spot here it's it doesn't have too much of a lip but there is a lip and after i hit this right foot i'm going to come in uh, so my toe is down here on my right foot and then i'm going to come in uh, right next to my right hand with my left toe and i'm going to toe hook just to the left of my right hand so i'm going to bike bike this bicycle this all right so right here right toe is pressing down left toe it's pulling and I'm, I'm pulling the most I can with my, my left arm and I'm staying kind of high and I'm going to bring that right hand in and you'll see, I kind of, I push, I do a big push with like my right foot and I kind of pull myself up a little bit and I kind of fall in to that right hand. So that's definitely the crux. You can see when I hit it, my my right leg kind of shook because that's where all my tension was because I didn't want to I didn't want to drop. So I was really pushing and 
kind of using that lip with my right toe, kind of thinking about pulling down um, while still pushing so I don't slip. Uh, the most common way I would mess this up uh, when I would when I was working this was that my right foot here would slip down and I'd just like smack the ground with my right foot. Uh, but this time I was able to keep the tension between my right foot, left hand, and then my left toe is really just kind of, it's maybe like maybe 25% of the effort when like 75% of the effort is coming off the right toe here. I didn't even look at, I hope, uh, I hope my head's not in the way uh, for this. Let's double check that. I'm, I'm okay. Okay, so did the crux. Then I keep the right toe, and then I step up with the left toe, and I'm going to make a big move to this jug rail. Cool. And this is kind of like a, like a little like backhand move. Um, because this rail is is facing, um, it's facing this way. Cool, and that's this is really positive. Just walk my feet through. Okay, and now I'm into the V five. There isn't really like a good place to rest here other than just like hanging off of the jug. I looked for a knee bar, but I really couldn't like find one. So, this is another jug up here. This is a nice crimp that I cut on. I find a, a toe, then I establish my heel. I take a nice break because uh, I've been on the wall for quite a bit now. Move my left hand up, move the heel down so I can come in with my right hand here. This is all super juggy. Do a little campus here, establish a left foot, cross with this right hand here. This is okay, a little slippery. Establish a heel, match. It's going to be intermediate. Go to the top. Oh, I missed it. Go back to the intermediate. Go again. Hit it. And then this is just a match and drop off finish. Um, this is like on a cliff line, so uh, topping out would involve like uh, climbing like 50 feet. So it's just a drop off. This is the established top, and I did it. All right, and that's Honeycomb V10. That's how I did it with this sort of uh, bicycle fall-in beta. Uh, this guy pretty much uses my beta, but you can see it a little closer. He toe hooks the start hold. I the start hand hold. I took I toe hooked the start toe hold. So he's using the same feet as me. Nice little slow mo for the crux. You could see what I was trying to describe there. Now he's into the five. We'll watch his beta for the five. A lot of people do this bump. And then he cuts. And then, uh, you know, if you're strong, you just like campus through it because these are all like nice big jugs. You want to calm it down. The worst thing you the worst thing you can do is make it through that crux nice and job. get into the five and then and then blow the five. That would feel bad. So you want to practice the five a lot. <sighs> okay. This is uh, pretty much like the the most significantly different beta I think I could find um, in in regards to the crux move. So he's still set up just like I was, but now he kicks his feet over to the jugs over here, and this is I was able to do this kick, but after I was here, I couldn't keep the tension between my feet and the left hand to come in with the right hand. Uh, he's able to to do that. Um, I thought that was like a really strong move for me. Um, but you really got to kick your feet over because if you're just hanging and then you like kind of swing your legs up, they're not going to go far enough. So you really got to like ninja kick over there. Okay. 
so he bumped his right he moved his right hand twice so rather than going all the way from here to here first he went here and then here and then he kind of does like a hand foot match here cool then he's into the five taking a break taking a breather long arms here because the holes are so good He bumps as well. I just found that bump, like, I found that hold, like, not as good as the crimp rail. I don't know. He did the same thing. He, he almost blew the top two, so you really got to huck it to that final jug. But uh, if you miss it, you can just go right back down to uh, go right back down to the intermediate, just like me, just like him. Okay. Uh, sometimes, you know, those were like V10 climbers that uh, were uh, doing the five. Sometimes it's nice to like look at someone um, who maybe, I don't know, I'm making assumptions, maybe V5 is like at this guy's limit at the time. I don't know. But uh, he does a little more controlled. He keeps a toe hook here. He also does the bump. And he moves his left toe here, so he doesn't have to cut. Oh, yeah. So he, his feet stay on pretty much like the whole time because of, because of his foot here. Nice. Okay. And then he yeah. kind of knee bars here um, to hit this to the, hit this hold here. Drop it. And then he just like keeps his foot down here for the for the finish. So there's some other beta for the five. In the Connies. Fourth day. Off. Sweet. All right, that's Honeycomb V10. Hopefully you find it helpful. And uh, if you have any requests for uh, another beta deep dive, um, I'm more than happy to take your requests. All right, take care.